UK Sailmakers presents Spinnaker Takedowns, Compare and Contrast. When executed properly, Spinnaker Takedowns are arguably the most satisfying and most fun maneuvers to be part of. When they're done properly, they're great. When they go left on you, however, a bad douse can create chaos on the bow, as well as cost you time or damage the sail. Here's video of two well-executed, yet totally different spinnaker douses captured by Lindsay Pierce during the Pot of Gold Regatta off of Fremantle, Western Australia. The wind is in the mid-teens, the water's flat, and the boats aren't overlapped, so they could use whichever spinnaker drop they wanted. One chose a string drop using a retrieval line, the other a letterbox. While UK Sailmakers believes the letterbox is the go-to maneuver, in open seas where you want to keep the crew off the bow and safety is paramount. In this windward lured course, the letterbox proved to be the slower of the two options. Let's start by watching Jeff Bishop's King 40 checkmate rounding a lured mark. As you watch this video for the first time, you'll see it takes approximately 30 seconds from when the tack is spiked to when the deck was clear and the boat could jive. Let's look at the footage a second time. Watch as the bow crew puts a load on the retriever line while the sail is still full. This creates a vertical fulcrum for the sail to collapse around. On the call from the tactician, the tack is released and immediately the sheet is blown and the halyard is dropped 10 to 15 feet. This quickly depowers the sail, making it easier for the bow crew to control. The crew is all arms and legs as they pull in the foot of the sail. Once the foot's on the deck, the pit drops the halyard as fast as the bow team could gather in the sail. With the head on the deck, the word goes aft that the boat is ready to jibe, all in about 30 seconds. One additional thing to note, however, is that as soon as the tack and the clue were blown, the crew loses some of their grip on the retrieval line, allowing the sail to float away from the boat. The tail of the retrieval line been secured to a fitting, this rising of the sail's foot could have been averted, saving a few seconds on the drop. Here's the second boat coming to the leeward mark, Peter Mason's Sydney 47 Endorphin. They don't have a belly line on the sail and, rather than going to a leeward strip, they opt for a letterbox takedown. The letterbox is safe and easy to execute, but it takes more time to set up and, as we see in this instance, took over a minute to complete. Compared to Bishop's 30-second string drop, Mason's endorphin spent an additional 30 plus seconds sailing underpowered downwind. Those 30 downspeed seconds can be costly in a close race. So here are a few final takeaways from this video. Retrieval line takedowns are quick and effective if done well. Practice them before every race. It really doesn't matter if the takedown line is on the windward or leeward side of the sail, as long as you can secure the bitter end of the takedown line just before the maneuver. In this video, the tack shackle was opened rather than letting run a tack line. Detaching the tack line can twist the sail as it's lowered, requiring the sewer person to spend longer in the bow cleaning up the chute for the next set. Just make sure the tack line is long enough. There are numerous ways to douse a spinnaker, and you and your crew should practice all of them just in case you need to make a quick decision during a race. Whichever style of takedown you choose, remember to give your crew adequate time to set up and then, once back up to speed, adequate time to clean up the boat. And oh yeah, don't forget to practice. UK Sailmakers, sail with confidence.